Hello there and happy Christmas. Just before Pauline speaks to us, I'll just have a short prayer. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for Christmas and for sending Jesus to be the saviour of the world. Help us this Christmas to have a true understanding of what it means for Jesus to be the centre of our Christmas and to be loved and be accepted as our Saviour. So bless this word to us as Pauline shares it with us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Risen with healing in his wings. The verses of Charles Wesley's wonderful carol touches every part of the life of Jesus. I have never really understood what was the meaning of healing in his wings. As usual, we have to go back to the scriptures, Malachi chapter 4 and verse 2, which refers to, sorry, where am I? Sorry, which refers to the day of the Lord. Isaiah 61, verses 1 to 3. Jesus had a job to do. Luke chapter 4, Jesus speaks the same words as Isaiah's prophecy. Shine as light, bringing perpetual health and everlasting life. Judgment for some, great blessing for all who love him. The Jews had many customs illustrating many aspects of life. Here are just a few. Many truths that can have good spiritual meaning for us in our spiritual lives. Luke tells us when Jesus was born, probably in a rocky cave shared with the animals, Mary wrapped him in long pieces of cloth, which was the Jewish custom so that the baby's limbs would be protected and grow strong. When Jesus died, Joseph of Arimathea took the body down from the cross and, as was the custom, wrapped the body in a long piece of linen, included spices, and Jesus was laid in a tomb inside a rocky cave. When Peter and John came and entered, they found the cave to be empty, just as they had been told. John went inside cautiously and saw the cloth lying here and there. Impetuous Peter dashed inside and also noticed the piece of cloth which covered the head of Jesus, folded nicely and placed separately. Why? A good illustration is found in another Jewish custom. When some work needed doing in the house, the housewife would call a good workman. As he was working, she would bring a bowl of water and a towel left folded by the bowl, so that when he had finished, hands could be washed and dried and the towel folded nicely and placed on top of the work to show that it was now finished. I wonder did John's mind go back to the cross, hearing the words of Jesus again? It is finished. In Jewish homes, when a son has reached teenage years, there is another custom, a big celebration, the Bar Mitzvah. He is now on the way to manhood and could take his place in the religious practices. He also received the talit, the Hebrew word for the prayer shawl, to be worn daily, reminding him of the nobility which comes from being God's chosen people. Also to obey God's commandments and to know the security of being wrapped in God as the Father's arms. The shawl made of silk and linen is square shaped with a fringe around the hem. At the four corners, eight threads were joined together with five knots, making a tassel, and this was commonly called the wings. Risen with healing in his wings. 
The fringe was to be seen when being worn. A special blessing was said when they were dressing. A fringed hem was also important. Remember in the Gospels account of the poor woman hemorrhaging for 12 years? Doctors had taken all her money. She had was no better. She thought, if only I can touch the hem of his robe, I will be healed. And of course, she was healed. In Mark's Gospel, chapter 6, the last verse, many sick people came to Jesus, begging to let him touch the hem, the fringe of his robe. All who touched it were healed, healing in his wings. The last thing the disciples would see of Jesus ascending into heaven was the hem of his garment with the fringe, the fringe tassels, the promise of healing, and to hear, as he has ascended into heaven, so he will come again in the same way. A Jewish man would return home from his, for his meal, prepared and set out by his servant, a clean napkin by the side of the bowl. After he had eaten and left the table, the servant would notice the napkin. If it was all crumpled up, the man had finished the meal. If folded nicely and laid to one side, he would be coming back. In our Bible, we read, Jesus will come back again. Not as a baby, but as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Healing completed. Promises fulfilled. Are you ready?